Welcome to my 3D vision video with the GTX 560. So for this trick, I will require an ASUS 120Hz 23.6 inch LCD monitor capable of 3D vision. Okay, so I'll need a 3D vision ready monitor, 1080p. I will also need NVIDIA 3D vision glasses, which are here, with a security device attached to them. Not that I stole them. They came with that. Okay. I will also need a 3D Vision Ready video card. In this case, I actually have four different, well, these are sort of similar, 3D Vision Ready video cards. So I have the GTX 580, which retails for about 500 bucks. I have the GTX 560 Ti, all new, so I have a Twin Frozer 2 version. And I also have a reference NVIDIA stock clocked version. And then, last but not least, I have a GTX 460. So these guys retail around 250 to 280 and this guy retails at uh, a little bit lower. So it's kind of the last generation 560 Ti. So the point of this video is to show you guys how these cards compare to each other in a 1080p high detail gaming 3D environment. Well, we have 3D, so stereoscopic 3D. I only use a small cross section of games, but I'm going to test the 460 by itself, the 560 by itself, the 560s in SLI because at that price point, they're very similar in price to a single 580, which I will also be comparing because it is the cream of the crop for single cards. So guys, what I have on the test bench right now is my dual GTX 560s, although I have the driver configured right now so that I'm only using one of them. So I'm testing a single 560, I'm testing 580, I'm testing dual, four, dual 560 Ti's, and then I'm also testing a 460 in order to find out what's going to give the most satisfactory 3D gaming experiences in my test games here. So. This one I would consider dual or single 560 not really playable uh, at 1080p. Remember, I am running four times anti-aliasing, eight times AF. Um, I'm running everything on max at 1080p, and then it's rendering it from two different angles at the same time, which is a lot more demanding for the GPU. So it's actually quite challenging for me to do my run through like this because the frame rate is so um, well unsatisfactory. But I'm doing, my, I'm doing my best with it here so that I can provide the results that you guys want. But uh, anyway, yeah, so my graphs are upcoming and I'm going to show you guys how all these different configs are going to perform with 3D vision, which, I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again, is pretty much the most immersive experience short of 3D vision surround that you can buy today. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to kill these guys unless I, like, do that. Oh, do you turn it off already? So as you can see from the charts and graphs, the data is pretty interesting because the GTX 560 Ti's in SLI do outperform the single GTX 580 in two of the tests, whereas the GTX 580 outperforms the 560 Ti's in one of the 3D Vision tests. So what that means to me, especially given the narrow margin of victory for either solution, is that these are similar in performance in 3D Vision. So what's interesting about that though is that I actually found the 560 Ti solution to be slightly less playable. That is, the dips were lower and the peaks were higher resulting in a similar average frame rate but a less satisfactory overall experience. So what I would probably choose for a purely 3D vision gaming experience is the GTX 580. Now this contrasts with the results that I was able to achieve with the 560s and SLI in my other video where I was not running stereoscopic 3D and the 560s, despite their similar price point, actually destroyed the GTX 580. That is in traditional 3D gaming that is not stereoscopic and does not involve these glasses. So before we finish up here, just want to show you guys the test platform that I used. So I'm using an Intel X25M 80 gig SSD for my boot drive. I'm using an MSI P67A GD65 motherboard. I'm using 
an Intel Core i7-2600K processor. It is overclocked to 4.7 GHz so that I can avoid as much as possible any CPU bottlenecks. And then I have 8 gigs of Mushkin Redline Ridgeback memory in order to, well, have memory for the system. So thank you for checking out my video on the 3D Vision gaming experience with the GeForce GTX 560 Ti.